I'm Liz Babcock. I'm the curator, history curator for the Matarango Museum. And um, one of my jobs is to uh, curate the permanent art collection of the museum. And the current exhibit that we have in our uh, Sylvia Winslow Gallery today is a wonderful collection of paintings by Francie Lou Hansen, a Western artist who was very active here for about 20 years. Mainly what people remember her for is that she painted all different types of subjects which she sold out of her gallery in Randsburg. And she, as I say, she lived here for 20 years. She actually died here uh, in uh, 1983. And her husband, Robert, who had a welding shop here in Ridgecrest, uh, outlived her uh, and died in, in um, 1991. And uh, they had two children, both of whom graduated from Burroughs High School. And I must say that it's really because of the children that this exhibit is here today. When the children saw that we had inherited from the Bruce Wurttemberger estate a new picture that we had on display at the museum, they were here last year and they came in to see the picture, uh, which is a beautiful picture that she did of uh, Mount Whitney. They were very happy to have seen it, and I said, well, I know the museum has a few other Francie Lou Hansons. Would you like to go to lunch or something? And then when you come back, I'll show you the rest. And they said, oh, yes, that would be great. So they went to lunch, and I started digging around and found out that we didn't just have one or two Francie Lou Hansons. We had 15 of them. And so I duly got them out, uh, the children, uh, Cecile and Jerry and their spouses were very happy to see these pictures. And in fact, Jerry, the son, decided that he would make a frame for one of the pictures, which he later did and he sent to me. Uh, and uh, you'll see the frame and the picture in the exhibit. This current exhibit, by the way, has all of the museum's paintings in it as well as uh, probably about an equivalent amount that was loaned to us by local collectors. One of the things that amazes me about Francie Lou is how uh, very innovative she is and, and how versatile she is. Uh, she can paint with broad brush strokes that just give you an idea of what the subject matter is, or she can go into an astonishing amount of detail. One of the paintings that I'm very taken with is uh, this little painting here, which was donated to the museum by Mary Ann Henry. It's a beautiful little bush. When you look at it, it looks very delicate and intricate. One of the things that Francie Lou's children had done was given us permission to make copies of some of the paintings that are in our collection. This was one of them. So. I made large copies that we have for sale in our museum store. And if you look at the large copy, it's just astonishing how much detail you still see even after blowing this little picture way up, way beyond any um, amount of detail that the artist had intended. I had mentioned um, the serendipity of putting this collection together, and this is a beautiful example. Uh, the museum had this picture, uh, which is called Dr. Pierce's Golden Medical Discovery. I love it. It was donated to us by Dr. Uh, Hoffner, who was Francie Lou's dentist. And uh, in fact, he donated three beautiful pictures to the museum, all of which she traded to him for dental work. So I have to say I'm very happy that Francie Lou needed some dental work because the museum really benefited. But when I put out the call, I had no idea what pictures would come in. And I got word from Donnie Woods that she was going to uh, let us use a picture called Mail Pouch, which I thought would be a picture of a mail pouch. And then the Tonkins uh, said, well, we'd like you to show a picture called Old Barn. 
And so when these pictures came in and I discovered what a beautiful grouping this made, I was really happy. Uh, and of course, mail pouch turned out to be the, the front of an old barn that certainly goes beautifully with the uh, Dr. Pierce's golden medical discovery. And the other painting, which is uh, in a very different style and a different palette, still goes very much together with the others in terms of subject matter. I wanted to talk about some interesting things in this case. There's a wonderful artist here, uh, Cheryl McDonald, who uh, was trained by Francie Lou, and she said that her mother had been a friend of Francie Lou's. She was looking through her mother's jewel box and found this tiny jewel-like picture and said, I would like you to have that in the exhibit. So I'm very thrilled to have it. I thought a tiny picture would just be a few little splotches, but it's amazing because it's even got her signature on it. Um, the signature is a little bit obscured by the frame, but you can see that her entire signature is there and a great deal of detail in a, just a charming little scene. Uh, another example in this case is a lovely little note card that she sold in her store for probably just a couple of dollars. Uh, and it, when I put it in the case, I realized that it's a, a study for a larger picture we have in the collection, which is called uh, Christ Comes to the Mojave Desert. Uh, Christ Comes to the Mojave Desert has tiny figures of Mary and Joseph uh, and the donkey going uh, to pay their taxes. Tiny, tiny figures with a large picture of uh, Jimson weed in the foreground. This is the same thing, but the tiny little figures are made in pencil and they're just almost indistinguishable, but they are there. This picture is one of my favorites in the whole exhibit and I think it really demonstrates Francie Lou's uh, versatility. I found out from her daughter that one of her teachers was a Chinese artist who taught her about uh, just using a few brush strokes to tell a story. And in this picture, you can see that she actually is using the paper itself as a design element. And you feel that the paper is part of the whole scene. Uh, so I, I love it for its cleanness, and um, it's just a beautiful example of her work. Uh, I wanted to thank you for letting me come into your computer and uh, give a little talk about Francie Lou and uh, mention that the exhibit is here through February the 28th during museum open hours, which are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., of course, none of the paintings are for sale, but we do have some reproductions that are for sale uh, to benefit the museum. So I hope you'll come and see it.